Hi, I'm Amy Booth and welcome to our Blue Rose Kennels YouTube channel. We're proud to be sponsored by Canine Chronicle TV. Uh, you can see it's a little dark out. I haven't been feeling that great this week, but I am working tonight because I'm never going to miss giving you a video. Today's video is on tidbits and tricks on how to get your dog ready in advance of the show and how to do very minimal grooming during the shows when we don't have the use of power dryers. And thankfully, Plush Puppy was kind enough to send us a bunch of their products to test out, to demo, and they sent us some instructions as well. So stay tuned and we'll show you what we came up with for you. And you guessed it, there's gonna be a giveaway with this one. Thanks to Plush Puppy as well. So today we have three different breeds for you as three different types of examples of coats that you can get bathed and dried and groomed in advance of the show and then get them ring ready and rinse them out after they show to keep them maintained during a weekend and the trick so you don't have to use a power dryer or if you really have to use a power dryer make sure you bring a generator and a tent and set up outside and then you can use your power dryer and do these tips and tricks inside. We're very thankful for Plush Puppy for not only sending us products to demo and test and we'll give you our feedback on them but we're also thankful that they gave us instructions how to use those products and how to get the best benefits out of them. Here we go. A couple of items recommended to also have on hand are some sponge cloths and some of our towels that we had in our previous review, the My Doggy Place microfiber towels that dry faster. These sponges, as you can see, they have water look at how much they can hold the water they hold so that's really gonna help you in washing and drying your dog but let's start at at home baths and dries the plush puppy technique is to use a variety of shampoos they call it paint by numbers and they use that shampoo in a particular part of the dog and combine all the shampoos for what's needed in that point. So for example, on the Affin Pincer, they recommend using, if the top line is dull, the all-purpose shampoo. If an area is too soft, the Texture Plus shampoo. And if legs need volume, use the bodybuilding shampoo. Also, you might see us use a little black opal, and that's in any sun bleached areas where the black isn't jet black on the dog. Now using your microfiber towel, you're going to towel off your dog really well all over. They recommend using some volumizing spray in areas that might need it. For example, the legs, the head, the top line, etc. And then apply the fast spray to all other areas of the dog. We did notice that the fast does work and does uh, shorten the dry time quite a bit. Since you're at home, you can use your power dryer. Get them good and dry to the skin. After you're dry, you're going to make sure you brush it out all over. Make sure there's no tangles or knots anywhere. I did really enjoy the plush puppy brushes. Now getting the dog ring ready. You have your clean, dry, washed dog. The coat is conditioned with the right shampoos. Now you're going to use a little bit of self-rinse, which they call Wonder Wash. It's diluted one to four. And you're going to apply this to any areas that need refreshing. You're going to use your cloth to dampen and refresh the furnishings and the pee area. You want to make sure you don't saturate the coat because we don't have the dryer available. 
and you're going to towel dry and apply um, volumizing spray. Follow that up with the OMG spray to break out any surface tension in the coat. One thing I will tell you that we noticed in using the volumizing spray, it did work very similar to a mousse. However, it didn't leave the coat sticky where you felt like you needed to wash it out. Um, but you'll see we're just using a hand dryer because a lot of shows are allowing the hand dryers indoors. So if you wanted to use the mousse, Plush Puppy does carry a mousse as well. And we're going to add that to this dog's furnishings just to give extra body. I liked the mousse. I probably preferred the volumizing spray, to be honest. And we're just going to blow dry that in. Now, if you wanted to put any uh, terrier powder in, Plush Puppy does carry a powder puff terrier chalk type of an item that you can apply to soft areas. A little dusting is all you need because a little bit goes a long way. Now your dog is done for the day and you're going to break up any product that you have in the coat to get it ready for the next day. So you're going to use your Wonder Wash and just break up any product that you have in there. Use your damp cloth to rub that Wonder Wash in really good. You can see that this has water in it. Then you're going to use your microfiber towel. And you would be surprised how much water this towel does take out of the dog's coat for you. Brush the dog out thoroughly. Make sure there's nothing sticky, tacky, no buildup left in the coat. And if you needed a little bit of conditioner, I recommend their natural silk protein conditioner and a dime sized amount in your hand to rub it throughout the furnishings. You can brush it in and let it air dry. Now for the at home bath and blow dry on a smooth fox terrier. We're going to start with a combination of shampoos again. The same method, the paint by numbers. Applying shampoo according to what the coat needs in specific areas. For example, if the coat needs whitening, we're going to use the herbal whitening shampoo to the white areas. If you want to create bone, you will use the bodybuilding shampoo to the legs. All shampoos are diluted 5 to 1. And if there's any black or colored areas that need to shine, you're going to use the all-purpose shampoo. And you're going to rinse the shampoos out really well and then towel dry. And finish drying with your power dryer at home. Get them ring ready. We're going to dilute Wonder Wash 1 to 4 and apply to any areas that need refreshing. Use that cloth to dampen and refresh furnishings and pee areas. Remember not to saturate the coat. Towel dry before you apply the volumizing spray to add volume. And OMG, if you'd like, for breaking surface tension. If you like chalking your dog, there is a Fairy Frost product.
that plush puppy makes to build up legs. They also have a cover-up cream that you can use with a damp sponge. Always remember to brush out or blow out any excess of product. Again, I'm giving you the full description on using their products. I sometimes use less. I think less is more than what I'm showing you in some of these examples. But I did want to test their products and tell you a little bit about them and what I thought about them. Maintaining a dog's coat over a long weekend without giving it baths. Remember, less is more as far as products are concerned. And after your dog is shown, you're going to make sure you rinse it out with your Wonder Wash. Dilute it down in your smaller bottle. You're going to use your damp cloth, your microfiber towel, and it's your choice if you'd like to use some OMG and a little bit of conditioner. Our final dog to demo is a Golden Retriever. We're going to start with it at home, its bath and blow dry. But it's really the same process. You mix and match the shampoos that that particular dog needs. If the hair is greasy around the ears or anything like that, you're going to want to use a deep cleansing shampoo. If you need volume to the coat, use the bodybuilding shampoo. Or if you have a very fluffy dog, use the natural conditioning shampoo, especially on the tail and pants area. Generally speaking, I don't use conditioners on golden retrievers, but maybe once a month. So you're going to rinse the shampoos and towel dry, same as the last few dogs. You're going to apply volumizing spray after towel drying to the areas that might need volume. You can use the OMG to other parts of the dog. The blowout cream, if you want it, diluted one tablespoon in a bottle of water filled with warm water. And don't forget to use your fast. I didn't use the Fast in the Smooth Fox Terrier because it didn't have a lot of hair, so it didn't need to be dried faster than normal. And of course, you're going to power dry it at home. And fully brush out. I'm going to begin to sound like a broken record on the products that they recommend for getting your dogs ready. So I will have these items in the description box below and just tell you that these products are all very nice, but on shows like this, I think less is more. Use less products on your dog. A good, clean dog can go a long way. Between the shows, it's going to be the same process of using your Wonder Wash, OMG, any kind of combination of those to keep your dog fresh and clean, as well as possibly following it up with a light conditioner if it's needed. I will have Plush Puppies recommendations in the description box below. I have to say, I haven't used a lot of the Plush Puppy products in quite some time, and I was really impressed with their shampoos and that fast dry product, as well as some of the powders. Actually, there wasn't anything that I tried that I didn't like. So I know that they have even more. I showed you a little clip it. They have their catalog. So you might find something for your breed specifically that I didn't include in any of these demos. So please take a look at their catalogs. We will be adding some of their products to our website shortly. So stay tuned for that. I'm really sorry that I didn't get it done before this video comes out, but they will be up within the week. So we're gonna do our best, okay? Our spin to win raffle to go with this plush puppy demo is gonna be some plush puppy supplies. It's gonna depend on you and your dog, but it's gonna look something like this. 
and we'll be putting the winner in touch with Plush Puppy to get them the right products for their breed. To enter the raffle, you need to be subscribed to this channel, like this video, follow the link in the description box below to the Plush Puppy Facebook page and give them a like, and comment in the comment box down below, Plush Puppy. If you like the content that we're continuing to produce, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, leave us a comment. We thank you all for watching and we'll see you in our next video.